All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. And as you guys can see, our boy Broly has his brand new EZ out. Uh, you know, this will take a little bit, so let me just get like, get to going while I'm talking. So, Broly is, of course, weak to Hybrid Saiyans. Um, I mean, STR Hybrid Saiyans is not exactly uh, weak, you know. There's a lot of very strong defensive units here, and very easy to obtain uh, defensive units for the Hybrid Saiyan team, right? Like, you could use Kid Gohan, he works great here. Again, this is the Waifu Pan card, she's incredibly defensive, will work really well here. LRB Pan will dominate. Kid, like, Goten is so easy to get. Like, you know, th this is a very easy team to build, right? Let let's just be real here. Uh, and, you know, and then there's other free-to-play units, like the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks would actually probably work fine here. Like, this is going to be a very, very simple, easy, a, I think, for a lot of people to beat. Um, you know, you could use probably, like, LR Gohan and Goten as a leader if you don't have Ultimate Gohan for whatever reason. And you could, you know, just build, like, hybrid Saiyans with Gohan and Goten as your leader and then bring, like, a friend, uh, Ultimate Gohan. There's just a, a plethora of ways to beat this one. This is just gonna be an, a very easy, easy A overall. I, I don't really foresee, like, if you've been playing for longer than, like, a hundred days, I, I gotta imagine this easy A is gonna be pretty much a joke for pretty much everyone. Um... As you guys can see too, Broly does have his own EZA event. Like, some people were wondering if perhaps Broly, like, you know, he wouldn't have another EZA event, right? Because remember, we already have the STR Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Uh, he has his EZA event, right? Where we uh, EZA that OG Broly. Uh, but they did actually release a brand new EZA event for the physical Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. This is not surprising to me because... Like, you know, this Broly is not exactly the same thing as, like, you know, the AGL and Physical Ultimate Gohan's just normal banner units, right? Like, this was, you know, at one time, like, a top-tier Dokkan Fest exclusive level character. So, like, you know, they're gonna make this guy really, really good, which he is. This Broly is very, very good now. Um, I, I do, like, 99% of the time I'm gonna be running this guy as my preferred version of Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. I could probably say I think I, I do wish they would have went a little bit more OP with him, but he definitely is very, very powerful, right? It, it's just like in some places like Dokkan Battlefield, uh, he's not. We're not gonna like really ever see him at his full potential. But then again, in Dokkan Battlefield, uh, his leader skill is going to be absolutely phenomenal over there. So like, like I mean, just that, just his leader skill alone, honestly, makes him quite good for Dokkan Battlefield. So I guess if I look at it there, because he'll be good for Super Battle Road for sure with his multiple super attacks. You know, probably not as good as LR Broly because, you know, he's like one of the Super Battle Road kings. You know, just as long as you can hide him, which, you know, especially in category Super Battle Road with only three fights, I would say it's a little easier to hide Broly uh, than maybe on like the OG stages, right, where there was uh, so many more. Uh, fights. Well, I say so many more, but one more fight, right? <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying. Uh, but Broly should be good there. Of course, you know, he's, you know, maybe the second best unit in the game for the Legendary Goku event. Um, he's, he's only had a few category teams, though, so it's not like, you know, like, LR, Gohan, and Goten, they come out, right? And, like, they fit on, like, ten different category teams, and they're also one of the best units in the game for that Legendary Goku event. Uh, at the time I'm recording this video, uh, I have actually finally pulled my last copy of LR Gohan and Goten. Uh, I do need to, uh, like, you know, get, get all that stuff uploaded. Uh, you know, gonna do Super Battle Royale video for LR Gohan and Goten, Legendary Goku event. Uh, I'll be taking Broly into the Legendary Goku event. Um, later on today, I'll probably do, because I did a couple of summon videos for Gohan and Goten, so I'll probably get one of those up. Uh, probably I'll do, like, the Rainbow Showcase video for Broly. You know, we'll have the full breakdown with him. You know, we'll show him on all his different teams, kind of maxed out, best situation type deal. Uh, probably, you know, within the next two days. There's also that new Android Saga Story event, which is live right now. Definitely want to run through that, um, you know, because there's a new Goku, the Awakening for Android 18. There's a new training item available. So there is, you know, quite a few things here uh, on happening on both versions right now uh, to last us for a, a little while. So, and then I do expect uh, LR Tech Broly uh, should be dropping on JP 
Um, I, again, I'm targeting like somewhere around like the 18th of July. I think, you know, the 18th to the 20th, I think is probably when we'll see that LR Tech Broly. Uh, I actually still have not recorded the revamp for the Broly story event. That's another thing I'm going to do. Uh, you know, I, I always record the story events. I'm going to make sure to get that done before that goes away. Uh, but that uh, event, like, you know, L the LR Tech Broly is all over that event. You fight him as a boss like five times in that event. So, like, he's about to drop on JP. There's there's no doubt about that whatsoever. Um, I also... That, that kid uh, trunks from the event. Uh, I also do plan on rainbowing him because he's a permanent defensive sacking unit. Uh, I'll probably take him into the Legendary Goku event. So, you know, on my return from Anime Expo here, there's a lot of videos I got to do and a lot of videos I got to catch up on, too, because I kind of left for my trip, like, real pretty much right as Gohan and Goten came out. Wasn't really able to get uh, everything done that I wanted to uh, in regards to them. So now your boy will go ahead and finish that up. There's also more stuff I wanted to do on, on Global too. Just sort of talking about those amazing banners. Uh, I actually do have a video recorded uh, going in depth about, you know, kind of like the Pilaf Trove. The value of the super duper ultimate discount summons that Global has going on right now. Uh, that'll go up probably, a, I'll schedule that a few hours to go up after this one right here. Because um, those Global banners... They are definitely a must summon for everyone. Like, I, I <laughs> those for your anniversary banners on Global, I, like, I, y you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to talk to the homie Goresh about this, but I'm leaning towards the for your anniversary Global banners actually being the best banners of all time. Like, even better than the guaranteed LR step up banners. Like, I, I don't know. It's just like, when you combine the gotcha coins with the tickets with just the overall value of the banner, like, how good the units are on it, and then, like, how good the actual, like, premium units themselves are in LR Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta, I feel like a case has to be made that they're the best banners ever, right? Because, like, you know, the guaranteed LR banners, you could end up with, like, you know, LR STR Broly, who's definitely good in a couple of places, but... I mean, he's no LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Vegeta, uh, you know, and the only thing is, like, it, it, it's tough, but, like, you know, these for your anniversary banners, they have this crazy value, like, and you can keep summoning on them, right? There's only a time limit of, what is it, like, 400 hours or something like that? Whereas the, the guaranteed LR banners, that's just a one-time go-through. You get your guaranteed LR and you're done. So, I, I, again... Right now, I'm, I'm very strongly leaning towards the Global for your Anniversary banners as number one under the sun right now. They're just very, very impressive. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how else to say. Like, like they, there's like nothing more they could have done to make the banners better. Like, outside of maybe getting rid of like that AGL trunks and the physical Super Saiyan 2 GT Kid Goku on the banners, but like. Even then, like, they, they, you know, they awaken from the new Dokkan events, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta Dokkan events. So that's why they're on the banner, so, I don't know. Just tremendous. Uh, oh, also Broly. <laughs> we're, doing <the laughs> we're doing the Broly Dokkan event. Oh, I should show, you know what I'm going to do, too? Let me show y'all uh, Broly's EZA banner, because it's actually quite good. Uh, JP is in a weird spot right now, where there's a million banners up that actually, like, you know, I, I could see someone summoning on, like, every single banner up right now. Because the Tanabata banner is up, which has most of the units, uh, like, just a, a million different EZA units on it, right? Then we have, you know, the LR Gohan and Goten banner, which is good if you just want to specifically get LR Gohan and Goten. Plus, that's also got, like, Dokkan Fest Kid Goku on it. You know, Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku is in there as well, like, on one of those banners. So, like, you know, th there's just... Wait, is he? Yeah, yeah, Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he's... He is on one of those banners, right? Wait, am I crazy? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I gotta double check that real quick, too. Because I'm like, I feel like he's on one of these banners right now. Maybe I'm crazy. I, I don't know, I, I'm out of it, I guess. <laughs> but, like, there's just so much going on in terms of these units. And JP did not hit number one for Gohan and Goten or for... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, the Tana Bada banner. I, I heard that's because uh, Fate is having a really big, like, uh, banner event right now. Which, I mean, I mean, listen, FGO is, is just, like, the, the gacha game king. Like, Dokkan does very, very well for itself. 
but fate is like the true king. <laughs> so like they you all know, when they've got like a crazy banner going on, you know, it's just going to be very, very tough to beat them. So, okay. So we got the Tanabata banner. Is Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku on here? Why do I feel like he was? He is. He is. Okay. 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 I feel like I didn't pull him very many times then. Okay. Um, then we also have a hybrid Saiyan category banner for the Broly Easy and not a big deal. Uh, this is the Sibling Bond category banner. Now, this here's the Broly Easy a banner. This is pretty good. This guy, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then SCR Gogeta. That's not bad. <laughs> that's not that's not terrible. Like con just considering how strong like some of these Easy A units are now. Like, you know, SCR Gogeta and Broly, like right now, they're like trend setting units like on their teams right like so like you just look at the the value like of those eca banners sometimes it's just so good um and then like e easy units right they're very very cheap with the red coins but here's the thing i don't think i would ever really recommend for people to get these easy units with red coins anymore i, I don't think i think i'm gonna change like because i was telling people like you know oh getting you know uh in janemba is not really that bad when i do with the red coins but i think i'm gonna change my mind on that i think summoning on like the easy a banners is actually a very smart idea because there's only three featured units so your chances of getting what you want are very very high but you do get red coins from those easy a banners so I think it's much, much smarter for many free-to-play players to maybe target those EZA banners here and there, you know, power up some of those EZA units because they're just so good, and a lot of them are so good on so many teams, but at the same time, you are still getting red coins. So because of the fact that you're still getting red coins, you know, you're still working your way towards, you know, some of the new top-tier units, right? So for example, we could say Dokkan Fest Kid Goku, I think. You know, this is the second time he has been on a banner. This is a perfect time, like, to pick him up with the coins, right? So, like, he is a perfect unit to get with the coins. Or the LR Super Saiyan 4, same thing. You know, this is the second time they've been on banners. They are incredible units that you could select uh, with the red coins. They're definitely some of the best units that I recommend people get with the red coins. So, you know, it, it, it's just, like... When I'm giving advice to players of where to summon on banners, with me, it's never specifically like, like, how good is the unit on the banner, right? Because if that mattered, I would have told everyone to use all their stones on LR Kale and Khalifa, which I definitely don't think would have been the best idea, right? They're by far the best unit in the game, you know, the best unit ever in Dokkan, but I, I don't think it's a, it's wise to summon on their banner because they're on such a bad banner. For free to play players, it's about targeting banners that like you will get good stuff easy and like you don't have a high chance of getting bad stuff right so like that, that's the thing about those lr banners is yeah you have the best units in the game oftentimes like featured on those lr banners but like that's just one slot and then the other like 11 featured slots are just pure trash so like i just can never recommend for people to summon on those because you're just playing with fire like you know, ch chances are you're not going to be one of the lucky people that's tweeting like, you know, me, Rhyme, Nano, and D-Free. Oh, second multi, we got him. You know, it's more than likely you would end up being the person that's like 500 stones in and all I pulled was like, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know. Let me think of the, the LR banner upcoming on Global, right? The LR Super Baby 2 banner and then the uh, Goku Trunks and Pan there's just like for every person that's like oh i got baby and goku chunks and pan first multi there's gonna be five times more people who are gonna tweet me saying uh i did a multi and i got majub like <laughs> majub oh man listen it's not a good idea to summon on a banner where majub is featured i'm just gonna tell you all that right now majub is featured Ho! Oh! You might want to pass on that one. <laughs> Majub is like, you know, here, <clears throat> let me also point this out too. Do not Baba Majub if you pull him. Because like, we just got news that like all those random units are going to easy A soon. So like the, the cooler movie, Super Saiyan Goku, the Android 13s, you know, Nova Shenron, a bunch of units like that. We never know when like Majub will get an EZA and become, like, a god. Like, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man, would that be crazy? Like, I don't know, Majub, like, if they gave Majub, like, 120% attack and defense, and then, like, he gave himself key or something like that, you know, he, he'd be a very good unit. Like, <laughs> at that point, he'd definitely be very usable. So, uh, that's one thing I'm going to leave you all with this video as we finish up. Again, this Broly EZA is super easy. Very, very easy with SCR Hybrid Saiyans. And it's a very easy to build, very free-to-play friendly. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I completely lost it. Uh, but yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so units, you never know when they're going to do EZAs for these bad units. So there's really never, like, it's never smart to Baba SSRs uh, until you have the unit rainbowed. I I I'm telling y'all, like, at this day and age, feed in max copies, get them SA-10, do all that first. Uh, don't Baba SSRs and try and be cool and stuff like that. It's very easy to get Baba points as well. Like, you know, like in some of these events, like with the category buffs, the SSR drop rate for some of these farmable cards is so high. Like, it's not worth bobbing an SSR, you know. Keep them, feed them, open all the dupe paths and stuff like that. So, all right. Uh, Broly is done. So, now at this point, uh, your boy is going to go ahead and fully easy a Broly, get him the SA-15, uh, and then we will come back. Man, it, it is very, his stats barely went up, like... You know, they... Uh, am I crazy? Why, why did they just not give Broly... I don't know. They just... They held back with Broly for sure. But, alright guys. We'll, we'll finish up here. A lot of Broly videos coming. A lot of videos all over the place coming. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch y'all next time.